Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna be working on this interesting viewer suggested in tech world using complex solutions, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral of one over x to the power of four plus one dx. I worked on this integral last time, but at this time, I'll be using complex solutions. So knowing how i is square root of negative one, and then x to the power of 4 plus 1 could be factored out as x squared plus i times x squared minus i. I'll list up two tools, right? So I'll be using these two tools to evaluate this for the complex solutions. So using this, let me call this integral as the i. And then rewrite this i as integral of 1 over x squared plus i times x squared minus i. And then we have dx. Here's a little trick. Now the one is the same as x squared plus i minus x squared minus i over 2i. I'll be using this and apply this to the integral, right? Then we can actually call this integral i as pulling 1 over 2i out. That times integral of this everything, x squared plus i minus x squared minus i over this denominator part, x squared plus i times x squared minus i. And then we have dx. And it looks like we can separate this integral into two integrals. So if you work this out, then still we have 1 over 2i. And then let me make a bracket. The first integral has to be x squared plus i over your denominator. So that's why x squared plus i is canceled out. And you only have integral of 1 over x squared minus i. Then we have dx. And then minus, second integral has to be x squared minus i over your denominator. So x squared minus i is canceled out. Then we have only 1 over x squared plus i. Then we have dx. Close your bracket. Now we should use these two tools. First integral is related to the first tool, and the second integral is related to the second tool. So for the first integral, looks like the first integral is the same as integral of 1 over x squared minus square root of the i squared dx. So that is why using this, it is just the same as 1 over 2 times square root of the i, and then that times ln of x plus square root of the i over x minus square root of the i, course plus c. Second integral is now 1 over x squared plus i dx, so it has to be the second tool, right? So second integral, we can rewrite this as integral of 1 over x squared plus square root of the i squared, and then we have dx. So it looks like this is the same as 1 over square root of the i times arc tangent of x over square root of the i, course plus c. Okay, so let's put all of these together, right? So it is just going to be the same as then, 1 over 2 times i, and then bracket, then we have 1 over 2 times square root of the i, times ln of x plus square root of the i over x minus square root of the i. Okay. And then minus 1 over square root of the i times r tangent of x over square root of the i. Okay. And then we can close the bracket, add c right next to it. Looks like we can factor this 1 over square root of the i out, right? Then eventually the final answer has to be 1 over 2 times i times square root of the i. Parenthesis, 1 over just a 2 times ln of x plus square root of the i over x minus square root of the i. And then minus r tangent of x over square root of the i. And now add c. This has to be the complex solution for this integral. Okay, so pretty interesting integral using complex solutions. How amazing. 